time is it? Oh, I hope they get here soon. I know they're coming from across town, and it's late, but if they weren't going to come, they would have called. They always do. Uh, huh? <laughs> oh, hey, you actually made it. Well, of course I'm surprised. It's really late. The city is full of traffic, and you had to ride your bike across town to get here. <sighs> but I guess I shouldn't be surprised. You don't let anything stop you. Uh, anyway, what took you so long? <laughs> you went to get food. What's on the menu for tonight? Mmm, chips, candy, and my favourite drink. <laughs> well, well, you certainly know how to spoil a lady. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Thank you. I know money's tight. I'm surprised that you even brought anything. Hmm? Why did I ask you to meet me here? On the apartment roof? Oh, <laughs> because I wanted to share this place with you. <laughs> Come on, sit next to me. Don't worry, I promise you won't fall. Even if you do, my bedroom balcony is just there. You have nothing to worry about. <laughs> Trust me, okay? <laughs> um, I, I know what you're thinking. Uh, what's so special about a rooftop? <laughs> Is she a weirdo? Uh, <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, I, I guess we're both a little weird. Um, but... What I really wanted to show you was that. <laughs> Look at it. The city looks so beautiful from here, especially at night. You can see all the lights of the buildings, the headlights of the cars stuck in traffic shining bright, and you can see the fancy buildings with the lights flickering on and off. If you put your fingers together and make a square, it almost looks like a painting. Whenever I'm sad or just need a breath of fresh air, I like to come up here, put on my headphones and just take it all in. The cold breeze of the night the sight of a beautiful city and my favourite rock band bursting my eardrums. I'm glad we have this apartment and I appreciate everything my family has given me. But one day, I'm going to make enough to take him out of this project and put him somewhere nice. A nice penthouse or a house somewhere for them. <laughs> yeah, like that fancy pants building over there. One with a beautiful view overlooking the city. <laughs> now you're getting it. The nice house paired with the nice car. Touring the city. No, the world. Trying out new foods, meeting new people, and trying out new things. <laughs> All those things are nice, um, but most importantly, I, I want you to be there with me to share those experiences. 
Um, listen, I don't bring anyone up here. My best friend doesn't even know about this spot. <laughs> but you, um, you're special to me. You are always there for me when I need you. You are always ready to listen. When I'm upset, you do your best to always make me smile. <laughs> hey, that time we saw that movie doesn't count. How was I supposed to know that the toys weren't going to die? <laughs> Ugh. I hate that pink bear so much. <laughs> Besides, I saw you getting a little teary-eyed too. <laughs> but you know what I mean. You're always there to lend me your ear. You always pay attention to what I have to say. And you always make time for me. Regardless of what you're doing. Whenever I need help with anything, you're always ready to lend me a hand. And you never ask for anything in return. My last partner. Well, you know how they were. I don't really need to repeat that story. The amount of times you made me feel bad about myself. I don't even know why I was with him for so long. Huh? Why? Why am I bringing that up? Um, well, because I wanted to see if maybe, maybe you'd be interested in being more than friends. I know it's sudden, but ever since I broke up with them a year ago, my feelings for you have changed. I've always cared for you, ever since we sat next to each other in middle school. But when you told me last month that you were interested in a different girl from class, I just felt this sharp pain in my chest. This... This feeling of pain and fear. I didn't really understand it at first. But I think it was fear. I thought if someone realised how precious and amazing you are, that they would take you away from me. So, when you came back and said that she had rejected you, I felt relieved. But also a little angry. How could someone reject someone so kind, funny, smart? If someone would just take the time to get to know you, they wouldn't regret it at all. I think the moment it clicked was when I invited you for dinner with me and my parents. I was so nervous for you to meet them, but that dinner went better than expected. They shared some embarrassing stories about me, but nothing too bad. At least they didn't pull out the photo album. <laughs> Anyways, I didn't tell you about it because it's a little embarrassing. But after we finished eating, when you offered to pick up the plates and wash the dishes, my mum whispered something to me. She said, he's already playing the husband role perfectly. What are you waiting for? <laughs> then I thought to myself, what am I waiting for? <laughs> for some other girl to take you? And that's why I decided to bring you up here. Just like I shared this special place with you, I want to share and experience everything in my life with you. <laughs> Did I just confess to you? 
<laughs> um, <laughs> you think I pour my heart out to just anyone? <laughs> you know how shy and reserved I am. But if you're okay with that, if you give me the chance, I promise to be the only girl you'd ever need. Please, let me show you. I really mean it. Uh, how was that? <laughs> I suck at kissing. Well, you're not exactly an expert yourself. <laughs> but you liked it anyways. <laughs> I did too. We'll have plenty of time to practice? Um, does that mean you agree to to go out with me? He will? Oh, I promise I'll do everything I can to be the perfect girlfriend. I'll try to learn new things, maybe change my hair, try putting on makeup for once and... Uh, uh huh? You... you don't want me to change? <laughs> you... you just want me to be me? <laughs> I'm glad you like me like that. But all of us have things we can improve. I can't promise I'll be perfect. But I want to get as close as I can. For you. I know it's late. We have school tomorrow and you still have to go home. But, uh, do you think we can stay here a little longer? This place always helps me relax. But having you here next to me, <laughs> this feels much better. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, daring tonight, are we? Putting your arm around my waist? Holding me next to you? Where did that come from? Uh, hey, no, don't move your arm away. I, I'm just teasing. <laughs> this is really nice. To have you hold me while I rest my head on your chest. <laughs> your heart is beating a million miles per hour. Is... is that because of me? <laughs> uh, at least I know how you feel about me. I wish this moment could last forever. That beautiful city skyline, the sound of your heartbeat, and the warmth of your love. <laughs> You'll always be there for me, Pinky Promise. Oh crap, it's my parents. They must have heard us. I know what you just said, but just this once, you have to go. I don't want to get grounded again. Here, go down these stairs and your bike should be on the right. Huh? You forgot something? What did you forget? <laughs> you can be such a dork sometimes. Now go! I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>